Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Today we'll be doing a flower because you know it's been a while since the very last time uh, when I painted a flower and I mean tutorial wise and personal uh, work wise. So today I decided to do a flower but the view will be from the bottom of the flower so it's not the usual flower image that we see it's more of like looking um looking how to explain this one it's like you're looking from the bottom part of the petals or the back of the petals so let me first tell you the colors that i'll be using for today's tutorial we have of course titanium white paints gray oxide green medium magenta and permanent magenta as you can see guys my canvas is already painted uh with uh paints gray it's actually paints gray it's not black so i decided to use a dark canvas for this so that the, the subject um pops out <laughs> it's like popping out of the canvas so let's begin now guys i'm gonna sketch first the subject and let's see how this goes so for this sketch, I'm just going to use my medium magenta. And this will be quite a rough sketch because um, I just want to see where things are going to go. I might make some adjustments later this is just for purposes of identifying the general shape of it uh, I might really like do some changes later we'll see guys we'll see Like that. All right. Now I'm going to get my permanent magenta, the darker or the the more contrasted paint that we have here. I'm just going to paint or color the petals. Like that. All right. So I'm starting my painting with some dark colors before I proceed with the lighter colors. Alright. 
as you can see, I'm very, uh, uh, I haphazardly just paint on. I don't really care so much for now about the details. Later, I will be like super detailed, but I will try to be as detailed as possible. For now, I'm just trying to get the general look, really. All right. Now, let's go and get our medium magenta plus white like this. And let's color some light petals. Now I'm gonna get again my medium, uh, my permanent magenta. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of Payne's gray, mix it with my medium magenta to make some grayish, all right, that's quite grayish magenta or muted magenta. I'm gonna add more Payne's gray perhaps. that's too dark yeah I like that all right same thing here so it's like grayish pink and of course this is just the underpainting we're just trying to get the general look of our um, flower Right. and then I'm gonna use the same uh, the same color so magenta plus paints gray so it's like uh, grayish pink we're going to color this side here as well we are going to add more oh that's too much magenta I mean too much paint is gray but I'm just going to adjust it oh I'm sorry guys I did not I don't think I silent my phone wait a minute So it's just dark okay now let's go back to some um, more pinky color I'm gonna add magenta permanent magenta and medium magenta like mix together and let's go and make some more detailing some more dark magentas all right like that 
for now it's gonna be like that like the underpainting I'm gonna get more dark magenta just fill in those spaces all right now let's allow that first to dry let's go and make some what they call that like the the cup of the flower so i'm just gonna get my green oxide i'm gonna add paints gray to kind of tone it down i mean oxide green is already toned down color wise but uh, I want to tone it down even more. So let's do the cup. I'm sorry guys, I'm calling it cup. I'm not even sure if it's a cup. this and then I'm going to go lighter I mean a darker I'm gonna add more paints gray And then I'm going to continue it. Right here. Alright, I'm going to allow that first to dry. Let's go back to the petals. Let's create some details. It's quite a big brush, but I want to use big brush today. I'm just going to get my titanium white. I'm going to add my medium magenta like this. Tiny bit of paint gray to tone it down. You can even add green if you want like this. Let's add some lighter details. like that same color but I'm just highlighting some areas hope this is dry like that Okay, I'm gonna get my white, pure white. Let's just add some more highlights. All 
right. Okay, for the for this side, I'm just going to lighten the dark pink that we had earlier and make some highlights here. like that okay wash your brush out and I'm gonna change my brush I'm gonna use a smaller brush I'm just gonna get my permanent magenta the dark or the more pigmented magenta that we have here Let's try to darken some areas already. Okay. I'm using some additional or extra water to kind of uh, make this technique Just pure magenta. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of paints gray to create some dark uh, details. Alright, I'm gonna get my medium magenta. I'm gonna mix that with my permanent magenta plus paints gray. So it's like a like this color, dark maroon color. Let's create some tiny details. I'm gonna darken it even more right here because it's not really receiving enough light So this dark detailing that we're doing, uh, the purpose of this is to draw the folds uh, on the flower. All right, now let's do some more light details. 
gonna get my white medium magenta so it's like light pink uh, I'm not sure if I'll be changing my brush but if I have to I will tell you so I'm just gonna use this to create some highlights Okay, now I'm gonna use my smaller brush. I really think I have to use a smaller brush for some areas. And can you wait a little while for a little while guys I'm just gonna get my cad yellow I forgot wait guys hi guys I'm back so I just got my yellow <laughs> I forgot so using my cad yellow, I'm just going to uh, mix it with my uh, oxide green. Try to lighten this uh, left side. More cad. like that and then I'm gonna get my paints gray I'm gonna mix that with again uh, green oxide to create some details Just gonna use the same color to darken some areas right here.
right, like that. So I'm just darkening some areas. Okay, I'm gonna create another like another petal. Uh, I just want it to make like a little more fluffy. Mm. Like that. And then I'm just gonna cover that one with some paint spray plus medium magenta. So it's like dark pink dark pinky color and since it's still super wet we're just gonna allow it first to dry so that I can do some depth and highlights right here And let's do some highlighting right here. All right, so I'm just gonna get my pure white Highlight some areas. Like that. here and here just get some light pinks like that this is still wet so I'm not gonna touch that I'm gonna get my cad yellow plus white so it's like light yellow let's go back to this area just highlighting it I'm gonna get my pure white
right like that again just pure white All right, like that. All right, wash your brush out. We're not yet done. I really want this quite detailed. I think this is quite, all right, this is quite dry already. So I'm just gonna get my paints gray. Mix that with permanent magenta. Let's darken this area. Push push out. Okay, I'm gonna get my pure magenta, but I'm gonna have to water that down because I wanna glaze some something. So I'm just gonna water that down and I'm gonna glaze some areas right here. And of course, I'm darkening some areas. So as you can see, uh, we're playing with light. We're painting light. We're actually um, identifying where the light is coming from. I'm gonna use a small brush for some detailing. I'm gonna get my permanent magenta. And let's darken some areas even more. This time, some light pinks. Like that. that. I'm gonna get my pure permanent magenta. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of paint gray to create some dark reddish color. We're just going to outline this one.
All right. I'm gonna get my pure white. Fix some areas here. like that gonna create some light pinks so I'm gonna get my permanent oh my medium magenta plus white so we're just gonna outline the petals using this light pink pink color Also here, some light pinks. All right. Let's fix the, the cup of the flower. I'm gonna get my green oxide. Let's try to make it look like natural. I'm gonna get my paints gray. I'm just gonna dab on some tiny paints gray, like dots of it. Okay, I'm gonna get more paints gray because I already ran out of, uh, already ran out of it. So I'm just going to clean some areas right here. Let's 
so yeah I just clean some areas I'm gonna get again my pure permanent magenta Some light pinks. Alright. And some highlights. I'm gonna wash my brush out and I will use my hair dryer just to dry things fast. So I just have to wait for it to dry. check my phone because I am checking if I received some emails today <laughs> so all right I'm just gonna glaze it again so I'm gonna use some light pink in glazing I'm gonna get my white and my medium magenta so this color light pink but I'll be using a lot of water so that I can glaze so using this color plus water, I'm just going to glaze some areas. I hope it's dry. Like that. And of course, I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it evenly on the canvas. So if you notice how I do how I do this uh, technique, yeah, you may or may not agree to my style, but it's all right.
tá? gonna wash my brush out and I'm gonna get my bigger brush I mean my my more pointy brush not bigger brush and let's make some more um, dark applications gonna get my paints gray plus maroon or permanent magenta to create some dark lines right here to create some depth and folds I have to check my if I receive an email guys sorry mm. all right nothing <laughs> so I'm just gonna darken this I'm gonna get my pink colors oops it's not that pink like that okay make some more dark applications Wash your brush out. Get your paints gray plus permanent magenta. Let's just create some uh, suggestion of some more leaves. Even if you cannot really see them, they're there. Okay. 
and some more dark just to separate it like that Some light pinks. right and I have to darken again this right side because again it's not receiving any light so it should be quite dark I'm just using paints gray to kind of glaze it with some dark colors and excuse the sound that you can hear it's not it's not new if you've been watching my videos for for a while that sound is my background music all the time all right some light pinks again is to like we're almost done actually let me check yeah to darken this area to suggest some folds I'm gonna get again my pure permanent magenta some pinky colors all 
I don't know how this looks like already. I think this is good. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my permanent magenta for glazing. So I just use my permanent magenta and then glaze over the flower so that the color is like one. You know that? I hope I'm making sense guys. Even though this flower has petals and some are highlighted and some are not, they should be or they should or this flower should look as one. Those separate parts should be uh, a part of the flower for this painting to be called a flower. I'm gonna use some more light pinks. some white So I'm just trying to blend the colors. I will be adding some tiny, like, like that, tiny dots to suggest natural patterns on the flower or on the petal. Like that. It's all watered down. But yeah, I kind of like this blood-like effect. So just apply some dots. Like that. To create some patterns on the petals. All right, I'm going to lighten again this part of the cup. I'm going to get my white, but we're going to dry brush. So I'm just going to lighten it using my white.
because the light is coming from the left side. I hope this is dry already. It's more white. Yeah, I like this. I like this one. Oh, nice. All right. And then last glazing would be, I'll be using my permanent magenta. I'll be glazing the top. Like that. If you don't want this step, it's all right. It's just me, guys. It's my technique. I'm showing you my technique, not to force you to copy it, but uh, for you to, you know, probably compare it to your own style. And if you like it, you may also do it to your paintings. There is no force and if it's not your style I'm not judging you <laughs> in any way all right I love this one all right so I'm just gonna use some white pure white I'm just gonna dab on some tiny bits of white on the stem. Like that. Mm, this is amazing. Beautiful. So I think I have to sign this now. I think this is done already right or maybe not i'm just gonna <laughs> darken some areas here like that glazing it with paints gray all right like that Okay, I have, to, I have to sign this now. I'm just going to use my white. I'm going to sign right here. All right. But wait, guys. I'm just going to use my paint screen plus permanent magenta because that's how I am all the time. After signing it, something I just want to change or fix. some more highlights
All right. This is nice. You know, it's been a while. Okay, if you want to fix some areas, like me, I just want to fix some areas. You can do that. Just use your paints gray and delete some lines that were outside the flower. I think this is good. This is done already. Or maybe not. Like that. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellowish greenish color. Oh, this is nice, right? I think this is nice. So I'm just adding some more <laughs> Uh, details, lightening some areas and darkening some areas. All right, I'm gonna darken a portion here to create some folds. This one, I just have to fix. Like that. Alright, so I think this is I must say this is done. This should be done, right? All right. Yeah, I think this is done. We should be done, guys. All right, so... That was nice. It's been a while since I painted a flower. So I hope you enjoy that one. And see you in my next video, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.